Hey, so I know that thumbnail did what it's supposed to, so I'm gonna go ahead and say welcome to everybody, right? So listen, today I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make, listen, this is just a roasted basil tomato soup. Super simple, fresh ingredients, and guess what, folks? We ain't gotta eat it out of the can. Let's go. Okay, so you guys just seen all of the ingredients, right? And uh, you know, especially if you're new to my channel, don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now, first thing we wanna do is you wanna get yourself a baking sheet, right? Then you wanna get your tomatoes. I'll just put a few on right here. Look, we wanna cut these and we wanna cut these down. Now, we did say they roasted potatoes, so we got to go ahead and put these in the oven, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. Let me just do it like this so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? We are gonna cut these lengthwise, just like that. You see like that? And we just set them over here. You know what I mean? Uh, hope you guys got a, uh, 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 a knife sharpener. You know what I mean? Because I am cutting them on here like this. You know what I mean? So you, for me, when you guys got a little experience, you don't want to just like cut and keep dulling your knife by going in deep, right? So I just cut them, let it run light on the bottom and go like that. Okay, so we got those cut in half the lengthwise, right? So look, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Mine is already ready. You know what I mean? That should be the first thing that you do. Right, so these are cut. Now, let me just talk about how we gonna level them up. It's really about like, you know, making something that's just like over the top, you know, just like super delicious. And plus we're not cooking out of a can. Can give you the basics, right? But if we using fresh ingredients, I want you guys to come over here and take a look at this right here. Look, this is branch and vine. This is an infused olive oil. And this is the basil, the basil, right? This is, it's infused with basil, excuse me. This, and a lot of times you guys see this out here. What I do is I fill these up. This right here I do with the garlic. Seeing how we doing, you know, something of this type of theme, you can go with uh, garlic, basil, anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use my basil on this one. And what I'm gonna do is, I want you guys to check me out. I'm just gonna take a little bit and we are gonna drizzle it just like this. Right, we wanna get this on here because look, we finna roast, folks. Right? Look, you just wanna go ahead and hit it with the salt right over here on the top. Look, what we doing is we bringing out the flavors we want everything to just marry together, along with, you know, being in the oven and starting to roast. This is what we're looking for, because we're trying to raise up the level, you know, the, uh, the flavor profile. And then for me, you know, I like to freshly crack my uh, pepper on the top, right? This is what it looks like. You know what I mean? We, we put the kosher salt on there. We hit it with a little, you know, fresh black pepper. You know what I mean? And then we got the olive oil on there. You know what I mean? So now we'll just add this in here like that. We'll set a timer for one hour. And then meanwhile, we'll go ahead and move to the next steps. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away from our, uh, I'm gonna say about 10 minutes away, you know, from our tomatoes are coming out of the oven, right? As you can see, I already got my, you know, onion diced down. I diced it down just a little bit on the fine side a finer side than I normally would, you know what I mean? Uh, look, now I wanna show you this, look, I'm using my infused uh, olive oil, right? This is the basil infused, my branch and vine. I'm gonna be using butter and my garlic. The reason I'm gonna show you guys this way is because look, in the beginning, you know how like we, I have everything measured out and I set them all out right there, right? So look, if you wanna make cooking a little bit more enjoyable, once you measure out all your ingredients, cause the full ingredient list is down in the description box below, right? But you already knew that. So listen, when you have it like that, as you need it, since we finna, you know, transition to the pot, I put everything that I need like this, and this is what keeps it not being a chore. This is what kind of like makes it fun, you know what I mean? So with that being said, let's cook. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring a little heat, you know, to my Dutch oven. You know what I mean? Uh, gotta get yourself a Dutch oven if you don't have one already. So look, get your Dutch oven going. You know what I mean, you wanna get a little heat. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my butter in right now, just as it's starting to heat up, right? Then when it comes to my oil, uh, oil look, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in about like a couple of tablespoons, that's all. So let me just get this going. Look, I, I gotta tell you this too. Olive oil and uh, I'm gonna say olive oil and butter. They go hand in hand. You're looking for like a real level up. When you start using the infused olive oils and things like that, that's what like just makes what you're doing just so much better than what everybody else does. It's these little things like this that just like raises up our, uh, you know, our flavor profile. Okay, so now that we completely melted, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting in my onions. So look, we even started cooking these, you know, my onions down, right? So we've probably been going about uh, 
So you're getting close to about four minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load my garlic press. I'll put it like this. I want you guys to go ahead so you guys can see it. Look, this right here puts a smile on my face, folks. I don't know what it is about just mincing some fresh garlic. Only with the press. They put that smile on your face like that. You know? I was really gonna tell you, smell that. Man, this right here, this is incredible. This right here is the base to a lot of different dishes. So now we just add our thyme, salt. We want to put in about, ah, about a teaspoon, right? <clears throat> and we're going to work this in, you know, back and forth and let this marry, you know, and exchange flavors and do all of that. And then to top it off, you guys know I don't do nothing without that pepper. Okay, so after letting this cook and marry, you know, together, it's just like cooking it down, really, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my crushed, you know, tomatoes. Oh yeah. When I talk about having the right tool for the job, I'm talking about using like spatulas. You wanna get everything off the edge. You wanna make sure everything comes up off the bottom. Get around the edge of the, you know, your Dutch oven or whatever you're using and you can go ahead and just give it a mix. Now, we want to bring this up to a simmer. I'm not finna make these, you know, fine or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Just give it like a little rough chop. And that right there does it for me. We just want to get some of that fresh basil taste and that flavor in, in the inside. And then we're gonna have to have a little bit of that sugar, you know, to balance it out. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my tomatoes. But you see, you can see the way it's coming together, right? And again, look, I emphasized in the very beginning, I, I said we don't wanna have the same old, same old. We don't wanna go ahead and use nothing like out of the can, right? This is why we're using fresh ingredients. And I'm gonna tell you some of the killer things that you can do is, like using that infused olive oils, the Branch of Vine products. Listen, if you do elect to get yourself that, you know what I mean? Uh, these right here, like level you up, and they not just one and done's on my channel. I got several videos. Man, I got tens and twenties of videos, you know, me using them, right? So, just get them in here like that. Let's get them start to heat back up, right? And I'm gonna go ahead now and add my stock. Okay, just add that to it. Oh man. I know some of you guys out there, especially if you in Texas right now, it's, Cold, you looking for something to just change it, you know, change the game. That's it right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this back up to a simmer, right? And then we're gonna just go ahead and cook this for about, I'm gonna say 30 minutes. That's all you're gonna need, folks. And then I got another step for you. We finna make it creamy, rich, smooth, all of the above. Check it out, folks. This is what we look like after 30 minutes. Oh yeah, this is it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just turn my fire off. Now, you see these big chunks right here? We've gotta get these nice and smooth, right? So, after you go ahead and get everything emulsified, you know, work down, puree, you know what I mean? Look at this right here. This right here, mm. only thing it's screaming right now, when I smell it, somebody calling for it. Got a nice, you know, cheese toast. Right? So now all we gotta do is take our cream. We're just gonna go ahead and add that right now. Right? And we wanna get all of it. It's something about when you add the white, you know, to this color right here. Look at how that is right there. It's just gratifying. Okay, folks, so look, now we're down to the nitty gritty. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my ladle and I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some of this. Oh man, I can barely talk. You know what I mean? Reason I'm being careful, I don't wanna get the side of my bowl dirty. You know, 
So look, if you guys use like fresh basil, you know what I mean? Obviously we didn't use everything that we had, right? So I like to like go ahead. And another thing too, this is like one of my favorite parts. I love to like do my garnish. That right there, fresh basil. You know what I mean? We, we, we tomato roasted, you know, everything is there. Look, then we got uh, cheese toast. I don't know what else to say, but look at this right here. I'm ready to just get in here and get mine. Okay, so you guys can see, you know, what we working with. I can just tell you this, look, I'm not gonna fake the funk or nothing like that. I done already ate, you know, one of these already. And when I tell you it's over the top, it's over the top. It's really about the ingredients, right? And it starts back down, you know, right here, using this branch of vine, this infused olive oil. And what we use, we use the basil version of it right here. This right here gave the tomatoes a great start. You know, when you roast that, then it turns up all of the fresh ingredients and everything nice and married together and sauteed just right. And then once you puree and get it nice and smooth, this is it. This right here was just a, a little added extra, you know, like a cherry on top. And with that being said, look, I'm gonna go ahead and just get down right now. Cheers. Hmm. This never gets old. Mm. This right here is right. The cheese toast is, like I say, it's more like a, a cherry on the top, right? Listen, if you're looking to get away from the cans, you know, like having them canned soups and all that, why not make it, you know, make it yourself. You see, we use fresh ingredients, everything turned out right, and it's cold outside. So look, you're talking about when you put this, you swallow this, uh, along with maybe taking a bite of the, uh, your cheese toast or something like that. Look, it just warm your soul up, you know, stick to your ribs and get you nice and warm, right? So listen, Taste this. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section uh, below. You know what I mean? I'm still reading all my comments. You know what I mean? I, I can't wait to see what you guys think about this. And it's just like super easy to make, right? A little bit on the time side because you got to like do the roasting. Outside of that, this right here is fire, folks. Now, with that being said, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these type of recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking, folks. And guess what? I'm out. Peace.